I may have found my new favorite place in Coeur d'Alene. The Totivator is uh, an opportunity for us to get rid of clutter. This ingenious creation, the Tote Evader, is a perfect example of what Gizmo is all about. It allows us to show kids that with simple pieces of equipment, chain, wood, and a motor, you can create almost anything. This is a special place. And then you pull it open into the magic world of machining. And Barb Mueller is a special person. She showed us around what she calls a maker space. Gizmo is a blend of art and technology. It's a way to be able to use your creativity and find out also more about what you thought you wanted to know and then lead into what is available for you to know. Last June, she and her husband Marty brought Gizmo to Coeur d'Alene. Cooperating with the University of Idaho and other partners, the kids in her program are doing amazing things, creating prosthetic limbs for other children using a 3D printer, welding, pottery, and too much more to mention. This is built by a girl. This is her, going to be her entry decorated. She showed us some of her kids' latest projects, like this trike. They'll be entered in the first ever Kinetic Fest, a celebration of wild human-powered vehicle floats happening this weekend. A Kinetic Fest is nothing new, but it's new to Lake City, and it's something your family's going to want to check out this Sunday. Yes, that's a bike couch or a couch bike, depending on how you look at it. Bike CDA and the CDA Skate Park will be part of the Kinetic Fest fun, along with live music, food, and fun for every age group, just like this hidden gem in North Idaho. It's the 13-year-old learning from the 80-year-old how to run a machine, and then the 13-year-old teaching the 80-year-old how to use his computer. Learning and bridging generational gaps all in a day's work. In North Idaho, Casey Lund, oh, KXLY, 4 News.